Are you still deploying your project via conventional and outdated legacy tools like FTP, cPanel, and Plesk Panel? Are you fed up with advanced technologies like Jenkins with lots of plugins? You may be having problems during or after deploying your application and your web app failed to run properly, right? Let us introduce you to deployapps.io. Deployapps.io is the one-stop solution for you to have an ultimate solution for all of those issues. Why to choose Deploy Apps? Deploy your application with zero downtime. Push to deploy. One-click rollback. Manage your servers. Pre-build deployment pipelines for popular language framework. Create a deployment pipeline and link with your deployment server and source code repository. Deploy collaboratively with your team. Deploy Apps has been carefully designed to make the whole deployment process easier like never before. Imagine saving time in deployment with a branch or tag in seconds. Isn't it what you were waiting for? Enjoy getting notified via email, Slack, and Discord. Now you can stop worrying about project deployment and enjoy your journey with deployapps.io today. Request for a demo right away. www.deployapps.io backslash contact. Hello everyone and how's it going? In this video, we're going to be discussing deployapps.io. So without a further ado, let's just dive into it. So let's just get started by clicking on this blue button on top right side of your screen. Here you can have multiple options to register. Once you're registered, you need to select your country and check terms and services. Now first we need to set up our server. To set up a server, click on servers from left. You need to provide a host IP so your servers can be hosted on DigitalOcean, AWS or anywhere you want. Type in here your server's name. Host IP port and username could be root Ubuntu depending on hosting provider. Copy the command clipboard and then SSH to your server and run that command by pasting and pressing enter once we run that command, click on save and close. So now our server is set up, let's integrate with our source code provider if the code is hosted with github, it is like with packet you can connect to the big packet. So our source code is connected. Next, we need to set up the deployment. Click on deployment pipeline, give pipeline name and help check URL which is the URL of your website. So our IP we are accessing using HTTP. So the URL is this one. This is not a mandatory field but it can give you the idea whether to post deployment held is good or not. Now we have to give the repository URL and the branch name. You can have multiple servers if you want. Select which one you want to do the deployment for and this is the deployment path where your every deployment will be stored. Now whenever we will do some release our deployment will be stored in here. So we have given the path which is not existing currently. If we go to the server so www directory bar and now I can only see HTML folder but once we do the deployment we should be able to see deployment project so let's just initiate the deployment and here you can see the deployment is going on and once you're able to understand the deployment is complete here you can see the deployment is completed now if we log into our server and check we can see the test project folder is created inside the deployment directory. Here the project will be deployed to the current directory. So we have to point this current directory to your host software like Nginx and Apache. So here I am modifying the root with a new path and this is the one every time we will deploy it will be deployed to that path and your changes will be reflected. So let's just quickly start Nginx and refresh the site here you will be able to see that earlier default page was displaying. Now as we have deployed the project our example bootstrap template project is displaying. Now let's just do quick modifications in this project and we will deploy it again. So now I am changing the title to something like new changes deploy apps. Now let's just add a comment and we will proceed to master branch depends on you because when we have set up the pipeline we have specified the master branch so that changes post to this new repository we can deploy the changes so now if i deploy and let's just wait for a couple of seconds 
now if we refresh our website you can see our changes are now deployed by apps.io now let's just do one more thing if we want to enable the auto deployment so whenever we deploy something to our repository github or bitbucket it will be automatically deployed to our server now we need to do another change simply comment and post it will automatically start the deployment and we should be able to see the new deployment is deployed to our website so let's just quickly add the comment and now let's wait for a couple of seconds here you can see it automatically detected the deployment and it is deploying so the deployment is done and if i refresh we are seeing that new changes are now applied now one more thing in some cases let's say you saw some after deployment you can see some errors you want to roll back to the earlier deployment so let's say if you want to roll back to this earlier so here you can give like the rollback command also you have to give some reason for the rollback so later you can understand why did you actually roll back so click on this rollback this time your applications will be rolled back to the earlier deployment stage and here you can see our initial stage one more time let's say go to the deployments and let's say you want to roll back again to the latest earlier changes so this command will be useful for other framework but you can leave it empty okay so for now i'll refresh and here you can see the deployment change and this is how you can roll back to your deployment you can automate your deployment using deployment apps.io i really hope you understood the concept thank you for watching